Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia here on my channel. I love affordable fashion, beauty, fragrance. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right, you guys, I'm super excited because I've been telling you guys, kind of hinting that I would do more fragrance content coming up. And these are two very, very affordable fragrances that I have fallen absolutely in love with. I think they are so good, such a good find, and they are perfect for fall winter time. So if you want to get a little details about these, get my thoughts on them, hear the notes, all the feels that it gives me, the prices, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so the brand that I am talking about is called the Dua brand. This is a um, handcrafted perfume brand out of Los Angeles. Now, I first heard about them, I want to say, when I looked up dupes for some high-end fragrance. I can't remember which one it was. And this got brought up on Google, this brand. And so that's when they first got on my radar. And then I continued to see it pop up if I Googled dupes. So then I searched on YouTube. I found a couple of reviews and watched them to find out if this is legit, if this brand is totally bunk. Bunk? What am I in the 90s? My clueless? My share? Don't they say bunk on that? Anyway, I just wasn't sure if it was a scam because it was so affordable. So I started researching more into it. And what this brand does is they do do a lot of inspired by fragrances, but then they also do their own in-house fragrances. Now, I personally, I have tried six. I blind bought all, no, not all six. I blind bought my first four. And you guys, I did not love them. Let me just tell you which ones they are. I'm gonna really focus today on just telling you about the two that I love. So I'm just gonna tell you, we have Caramel Brandy. I did not love this one. Um, I really wanted to because I love a boozy, like gourmand fragrance, but this one, it just, the one, all four of these have something in common, and that is that they smell a little too synthetic for me. They have this kind of cloying, quality to it and my husband didn't like them either so that's why they are a no-go but look at the box that they come in like you guys these are so pretty and for the most part they're $60 sometimes they have a little bit more affordable ones or they have all kinds of like sales as well where you buy a certain amount get a certain amount off or buy two get one free they have amazing sales so I want to say I got these for 40 each instead of the 60 because I got them on sale. But the box that they come in is so nice. So, but these were the first four I bought that I did not love. So we have Caramel Brandy. We have Blueberry Dreams. I was really excited about this one. And yeah, it just didn't do it for me. Again, it's just because there's this like synthetic thing about these I don't love. Um, Blueberry Brandy, another one that I hoped would be an awesome gourmand boozy fragrance. And then the last one that did not work for me is Dirty Banana. I would actually, I think one of the ways that I decided to pull the trigger with this brand specifically, I was looking at banana fragrances because I love banana in a fragrance. If you've tried Vacation by Vacation, it is one of my favorite summer fragrances and it has this banana note to it that does kind of fade, you know, after a short amount of time. And it's so good in the beginning that I thought I need more banana fragrances. So that's how I started out. But what's cool is when you order these full sizes, they do send quite a few samples. And some of the samples that they sent, I found two absolute gems that I'm obsessed with and I can highly recommend to you guys. The first one is Sugar Fantasy of Cotton Candy. Okay, you guys, any of my Skylar Boardwalk lovers, and that one is, oh my gosh, this is so good. The Boardwalk from Skylar is that cotton candy. You know, it, it does seem kind of like a cotton candy fantasy. It is so yummy. But this one, you guys, and this is not an um, inspired by, this is their own formulation. I thought this might be a dupe for the Boardwalk until I smell them next to each other. And they're actually very different. This one is 
sugar, cotton candy, musk, benzoin, and what's cool about this, and I think there might be amber, I'm not, I'm not positive. I'm going to put the notes over here, but I'm just going to tell you what I, what I get out of this when I smell this. If you walk into a mall during the holidays or say any type of store that might have those like pecans, walnuts, those nuts that they are, have encrusted in sugar and cinnamon and maybe nutmeg and they're just like roasted and they're sugary. That is what this totally reminds me of. Now, I don't get cinnamon and nutmeg in this. It is, but it is that quality in the air that is that toasty, caramelized sugar that has some sort of like spiciness to it. This is, when I say this is one of the best things I've ever smelled in my life, I am not kidding. If you are a gourmand girl, if you love sugary, but not like this is sweet, but it is so just warm and inviting and cozy and if you want to smell like the most amazing treat ever and smell like christmas time that is what this is this is not christmas time pine christmas time you know heavy cinnamon and cloves this is that like it doesn't it's so hard to describe you guys it doesn't smell like a nut like this is not there's no nut notes in here but i'm telling you if you've ever gone into those specialty stores or into a mall where they have those like gourmet nuts roasted in sugar that is exactly what this smells like promise you if that sounds good to you you are going to faint if you try this now i did see this is sold out with good reason let me just tell you when this came as a sample and i tried it immediately i hopped online immediately i said i don't want to wait for a sale i'm buying this and they didn't have it so i actually emailed the brand and i said why don't you have this on your site like i got it as a sample and i need it I need it now. And they said, well, you know, we love to hear that, that, you know, be on the lookout. And what I've, I've noticed what they do is they put these samples in to get you kind of excited about it and then give it about a month or two and they end up on the site. And then if you have an account, you'll get those emails and hopefully you can get it before it sells out. This sucker is sold out and I'm not surprised. I will go through this this winter, I guarantee you. The next one that came as a sample that I fell in love with that I also was like, I need it to be on the site, I kept checking and checking and checking, is Choco Milk Spice. Now, this is a gourmand fragrance, but unlike the Cotton Candy Fantasy, which I think is like purely gourmand, this is gourmand and floral, but it is, oh, it's so, this smells expensive. This smells so unique. To me, I do get this like chocolate that is not not a, a, a photogenic chocolate, not, not, not your, your picture chocolate where you're like, I picture chocolate and I smell it. This is like, there's like a hint of something deep about like a, cho a cocoa scent. And then you also get this smoothness, this tonic from the milk in here, but then you also have cardamom and you have saffron and then you also have jasmine and rose. And so it is so complex. It's like gourmand, it's floral, it's super unisex. I would say this one is more, I mean, they call it unisex, but I would say the cotton candy is a little bit more girly for sure. This one, I'm telling you, it smells amazing on me, but if I smelled this on a man too, I would be like, there is, it is so sexy. It is so intoxicating. It reminds me in the dry down, like you get a lot of those gourmand notes at first, but the dry down is kind of like an early 2000s cologne. And that was kind of my favorite phase of colognes, but it's still unisex enough where a woman can definitely get away with it. Both of these are cold weather fragrances for sure, but this one I definitely think is perfect by the fire. It's perfect for date night. It's 
I mean, you guys, this just smells so delightful. Like those little spicy notes. I, I love cardamom in fragrances and I love saffron in fragrances. So it feels, it smells kind of exotic, but not, it, it doesn't smell like an Arabic, you know, fragrance to where some people, you know, aren't used to that. It just, it smells unique, exotic, yummy, sensual. It's so good. You guys, I could not get it out of my mind when I had the sample and I just immediately, whenever it was released, I was like, put in cart, buy it, done. So you guys, I am so excited about this brand because I haven't bought anything else because it does seem to be a little bit hit or miss for me. And they have tons of fragrances, by the way. I mean, you could spend a whole day on there looking through. And I haven't tried any of the inspired by fragrances yet. I might do that next. I'll definitely wait for a sale. I think during Black Friday, I'll probably order quite a few. They do have samples on there. And so I might go that route. But sometimes it's just fun to go for it for a, a full size because these are definitely worth it. By the way, these are 34 mil, so they're 1.1 fluid ounces, and they all come in these little boxes here. And, oh, longevity, longevity, you guys. These are extra perfumes, so they are made to last. They are potent. I put this one on like two sprays, wrist, and say like on my clothing, next day I am smelling this sucker. Longevity is forever with the Choco Milk Spice. With the Cotton Candy Fantasy, I or Fantasy, Sugary Fantasy of Cotton Candy, I'd say this one's maybe like an eight hour. This baby is like 24 hours. I'm not even kidding. You only need two sprays of this. Oh my gosh, it fills the room too. The sillage is beautiful. The projection on this one is incredible. What else do I wanna tell you about this brand? Watch out for those sales. Um, I bought these on my own, like I said, not sponsored at all. Um, I do plan on trying more. And if you are just in, in, in the realm of I need a new fall, winter gourmand fragrance and these sound good to you at all, buy those two. Buy those two. Cotton candy, put put it on your radar for when it comes back in stock, but the chocolate milk spice is still in stock and it is $60, but then you get those sales and you can easily get it for 40. I hope this taught you about a new <laughs> fragrance house. I mean, you know, I'm all about the affordability and I'm all about smelling really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know. Let me know how you're liking the fragrance content because like I've mentioned, it's really what I'm really passionate about right now. So let me know in the comments and as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping, and smelling fabulous. Bye!